Yeah. A little Caribbean music, huh? It is where I am these days. It is where I am. I'll be traveling. In June, uh, you know, I'll be in New York. And uh, I'll be doing some workshops. In June, I will be at uh, ABC upstairs at uh, Deepak's home base doing an early evening class. So those of you in the neighborhood, come on down. It'll be on my website. Take a look. Hmm. Yeah. All right. The haiku. The haiku. Yeah. These haikus, they really get to me sometimes as they come through and the visions I have and what I feel. And depth in my heart there. Almost all around love these days. And love of the grand divine love of woman, love of our earth, love of ourselves. In flights of fancy, primal desires awaken. Yes, no, or maybe. <laughs> maybe. <clears throat> yeah. You know, there's a story told about a wise farmer and uh, this farmer had his horse run away and the neighbor said oh oh that's too bad and the farmer said mm, maybe and then one day the horse came back on its own and the neighbor said ah oh, that's really really good and the wise farmer said mm, maybe and then one day the son really loved the horse and rode the horse and everyone said, oh, that's so good. And the farmer said, well, maybe. And then the son rode and fell off and broke his leg. And oh, the neighbor said, oh, that's really terrible. And the farmer said, well, maybe. And then soon after that came the soldiers and the generals. Then they're conscripting their armies and they came to get the man. His son and said, you must come. And oh, he had a broken leg. And they said, oh, we can't take you. You have a broken leg. And the neighbor said, ah, that's good. And the farmer said, maybe. Yeah. So that's it. Sometimes we know what's right. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. And sometimes, maybe. <laughs> the Ching today speaks about some very positive notes for this week of March 18th, 2018. Number 63, GG, Chi Chi, completion. The great crossing. Above is Khan the gorge, below is fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wisdom. Completion has occurred. You have found your level. Spirit shows a future of prosperity. Harmony prevails. Eh, must be why this happy Caribbean music came through today. Your cycles of diligence and perseverance have brought you to a harmonic convergence in your life and on your path toward roles of goodness and light. You're now approaching a new and favorable cycle in which your diligence will show on the positive side. It's an exciting time. For from here, you can see across the shore and see all that waits for you. All that you've been working for, is that you've dreamed of and you've kept in your heart is now in view and you can feel it. It's good. The knowing of your progress is in place, as are you. Right? The hexagrams are in balance. The lines are in balance in this particular hexagram. And that's very rare in the I Ching. Usually we're dealing from discord in life. It teaches us and propels us, but it's not often that everything is in order, but now things are in order. The challenge though, is not to let your ego push you too fast or push you too far in these moments before realizing your goals, your goals in love and business, emotions and your spirit. In the I Ching, the early version of the I Ching, 
there's a parable told, and it will benefit us to heed the lesson, and I will tell you a story. And those of you that have been listening know how much I love to tell stories. Once upon a time, yeah, you ready? Curl up, get comfortable. Once there was a very wise old fox standing at the age, edge of a great river. The river was frozen. It was winter coming on. The old fox contemplated crossing, for on the other side there were many things of wonder and delight. Ah, there were ample mice to chase. There were many playful foxes to entice her. There was a warm den prepared for her by her skulk, awaiting her arrival. And this wise old fox meditated, watched the river and its ice, watching, waiting for the right time and the safe time to cross the frozen waters. As old fox was in a very fox-like meditation, a young, brash, very cute young fox came bounding up the river shore. The young fox also knew what lay across the river, for young fox had heard from the elders, speaking of the, this time of years where excitement and initiation lay across on the other shore. Young fox, so old fox, and said, Old fox, what are you doing, man? We're waiting here. Come on, let's cross the river. There's so much joy that awaits us and fun and play, <clears throat> copulation, laughter. Old fox said nothing, just continued to observe the river. The young fox said, Well, if you're not going to come with me, too bad for you. And without a fare thee well, began to head across the river. Wise old fox said calmly and quietly, Well, easy. Be careful. The ice is very thin in many places. You see, it's not yet time to cross. So the story is told, and young fox began to cross, and crack, it opens up. <clears throat> Midway, the young little fox fell into the icy river, soaked his tail, and was humiliated in his crossing, and had to make the difficult way, frozen and freezing, to where old fox was sitting and waiting. Young fox had to come back here to the beginning and wait. While well, young fox was sh shaking and so cold was unable to move, our old fox tread carefully across the ice, observing carefully and made it handily to the other side. Got it. Take this story to heart now and do not become enamored with how well you have done. Uh -huh. How well you've done to where you stand now. There's so much that awaits you. Your destiny is on the other side, so now use caution. Be like the old fox. This tale tells of what all the planning, where the angst and sleepless nights have been about for you. There's been preparation, right? You are well positioned now to achieve completion of your goals and of the highest good on this part of your journey. Remembering who you are, bringing a deepening of your contact with the inner light of wisdom that's guiding you. When you look at the positive notes being played in your life symphony, know that to stay in harmony, you must continue to be aware, continue to be awake. Don't let yourself slide into the feeling that, you, <clears throat> that you've done what's necessary and then you can just rest and don't really have to do the work, capital W, anymore. You see, you have in your diligence worked hard and parts of you are truly exhausted from hard work, but don't worry. Because with your passion in action, you will be fed during this part of the pa passage, this passage to completion, as you proceed with caution and discard the old patterns that have hindered you in the past. That is what this time is about. In the original text of the Yi Ching, it also says, there is no increase not followed by decrease. You see, you're doing well and things are going good, man, but don't get lost in it. It says, there is no plane not leading to a slope. Yeah. You see, so the wise person looks at this and they save in times of prosperity in preparation for decrease because it will come. The healthy person uses their strength to maintain themselves. So in time of weakness and illness, they're prepared. Don't be arrogant in your health and good fortune. Be with humility. There's strength in humility. Be generous. Have compassion. 
You see, pride and arrogance of accomplishment or good health or looking good, baby, that is not going to bring your prosperity to you. It will open the way to loss and degradation. Not that you shouldn't be happy about who you are and the work you've done, but man, check your ego at the door. These are the universal laws for all of us, for the leaders, for the workers, for the seekers that we are, and for our pilgrims with who we share this road less traveled. Never doubt that loss follows gain. Be prepared and your life will remain rich and joyous. As you complete this cycle, a new one is unfolding, so be ready. It's in the natural order of things that once something is born, it grows, it matures, it serves its purpose, it finishes its cycle, and it dies, turning into a rich compost to feed the next cycle that is just across the proverbial river. Got it? You see, it's not a time for arrogance or complacency about your previous accomplishments. Look closely. Really get into these lessons that you were shown during this, these difficult passages that you've had recently. Don't forget it. Integrate these lessons into your daily life. It's wisdom like this that will radiate as light for you and allow you to be a beacon for those around you. Because you see, that too is our job. If we're given the gift of abundance and love and light, we've got to shine it and share it. If we proceed in this way, you will remain strong. You'll be resistant to decay, and your light will shine as the sun at midday. This hexagram, GG, Chi Chi, gives clarity that is well placed and in order in your life. It will show. The rites of passage that are before you are vital in your quest for enlightenment, love, and abundance. You can have it all. But it's imperative that you remain calm, centered, and find stillness each day. Each day as you do your work and you balance your hard work with rest, fun, celebration, and gratitude for how far you've come. During the difficult passage to get here, you learned and you used some tools that allowed you to stay on the mark. It might have been meditation. It could be taking walks, gardening, being of service, dancing or an inner love, a love of your community, of your tribe, your family. Stay with it. Don't forget it. Don't let abundance and joy shut you down. Dear human beings tend to achieve goals and then forget how they got there. Letting go of focus and discipline. Don't let your ego take hold and get you off your mark. This is a good time to remain diligent to what is correct for you and good and part of the greater good. Yeah. You see, you didn't get here on your own. There were invisible helpers active with each of us, each of you at all times. You're going to benefit now from humility. You see, for this kind of support, allows you to surrender in gratitude. And it is in this way you remain active throughout your journey on this sometimes rocky road of living. Yeah, and sometimes a little jazz <laughs> helps you on the rocky road of living. Some music to help you dance. Light candles in the house. the time to look at the life patterns you've recognized during this time. Look at the stuff you dropped or what you've modified to, to correction during this past cycle. And take a careful inventory as you enter the next cycle. As you come into more knowledge and abundance, and you will, because this hexagram has come up at this time, and don't doubt it for a minute. So, with a still mind and a heart filled with gratefulness and compassion, recognize that you are forever changed. You see, that's when it's a good time. It means, oh man, I've changed. I've did it good. And now you're able to be in service to your community and to the loving spirit of Gaia, the spirit watching over your planet. Yeah. You've got to pay attention to that and to be of service however we can. 
be of service to another, be of service to another family, be of service to the people, to the children, to the planet, to the four-legged, the, the ones that fly. Just be of service. Help it to be a creation on earth. Earth people are entering a new and refreshed moment in time. There's a shared vision which wars and aggression will be quelled. Or people will share instead of hoard and all will embrace their neighbors across borders, across oceans, to create a better and more peaceful vibration for all of us. It's a tough time and we see some craziness going on, stuff on borders and stuff of crazy leaders. And it's tough, but there are some people, you know, that are, that are wisdom leaders, you know, and they're saying, man, take a new look. You know, they have some, even in politics, I've seen it in American politics, there's some visionaries, wisdom leaders, and the elders too, you know, don't discount the elders. See, there's knowledge there, that are be, this knowledge is beginning to show, and the old vision of elders, you know, the elders always had the vision of peace on earth, and they didn't forget, and go talk to them. The elders know. Well, how do they know? They've been through it, man. <laughs> you know, that old car ad, that's one, a man who's owned one, that's me. You know, and then you'll be shown, and you'll be supported, and you'll be cared for. If you carry on that knowledge of the indigenous elders, the elders in your world, in your tribe, in the young people who are really fighting for justice, for harmony, it ain't going to happen overnight, you know that. But it all starts with each sentient, conscious soul. In the old text, it says the greatest leaders lead from within. <clears throat> you know, that's in Sun Tzu, General Sun Tzu, warrior from early times, the 700s. Sun Tzu said the great leader does not lead from the front, nor does, do they lead from the back. They lead from the middle, from the center. And that's where we need to be with our strength, with our knowledge, and with our care. You see, the task is to lead, no matter where you are, with compassion, with kindness, dignity, integrity, as you make your passage to the coming cycle in your life, in the life of your planet, the life of your society, the life of your tribe. This is universal balance that this hexagram is speaking of. How beautiful, huh? All of life consists of an endless round of cycles, whether we're ready for them or not. These life cycles have their own periodicity, their own agenda, and just as summer does not wait for spring, so it is with our cyclic nature. The new cycle has already begun. It is in the nature of completion that there tends to be minute areas, little places where decay can form. And this hexagram contains this caveat, telling us that we must be constantly vigilant so we don't repeat old patterns, thought forms, activities that would cause decay to take hold. If we fall back into dysfunctional patterns, the fallout will carry over into our next cycle. And then we'll have to repeat some not so pleasant feelings, some heartaches or illnesses. So don't do it. These are beautiful times, these are correct times to be humble and to acknowledge what you've learned in ritual and ceremony. Ritual is the means by which people throughout the ages have given homage to their relationship with the whole, with all beings, and with the earth herself. Ritual helps us notice and frame our belief in who we authentically are and that you're moving on and that you're changing. Uh -huh. You know, I saw somebody today and they said, what's going on with you, man? Your skin looks so good. I think it's because I'm happy and things are changing, right? You know, it's funny as you get older, people meet you and they say, God, you look great. I don't know how to take that, you know? They didn't say that to me when I was younger. I think I look pretty good. But <laughs> the older you get, you see, yeah. No shame in being old, but being happy. That's the idea. Be in the magnificence of gratitude where it does a magical cape that moves you forward and protects you 
as you love. And just as, important, just as importantly, you let love in. <clears throat> you know, when I do workshops with people from 40, 50, uh, next month, at some, I have 100, 150 people. And I ask them, I say, look, man, who here knows how to love? And almost everybody raises their hand. And then I say, how many people know how to be loved or let love in? And not very many people do because we never were taught that. We have to learn that on our own, to let ourselves be loved, to appreciate who we are, and to be good for ourselves, and have correct thoughts. And thoughts that are not correct, no blame, man. Just correct them. It's that easy. You see, all this is easy. It's not complicated to be happy, to be well, to be spiritual. Is that what they call it? I don't know. But to be this person that steps out from behind the curtain into the light at midday. That's a blessing, you see. So right now, take a moment to bless this day that you've been given. As you're listening to this, be grateful for your eyes that see. Be grateful for the ears that hear. And be grateful for the body, for the mind and the spirit. These are your constant companions. Be aware, don't take it for granted. Dance the dance of love, man, celebrate yourself. It's the idea to listen, to love, to learn. That's what this time is about. And look, you know, don't be sad when I tell you that, you know, after a time of increase, there's decrease. That's just the way that it is. But if you prepare yourself, you know, you know, you make a lot of money, or let's say you're harvesting a lot of honey literally. Well, you sell some, but you keep some for the time that the bees are not doing it. Right? I have chickens and ducks, and I love giving away the eggs, but I do keep some for myself, so sometimes the cycles, they stop laying, and I still got them. You got it? That's what we do. Well, I'll be traveling. I'll be talking to you next time from the Berkshires, where I'm going to be seeing my, my friends. That's going to be fun. Looking for a place to have another living space. Back east as I'm teaching in New York starting next year. Very excited about it. So I'm sending you all the love I can muster from here at the 20th Parallel. You know, if you ever have questions about what I'm talking about, send me a note. I'll be happy to answer them. I mean, I get a lot of mail, but I, I like it. I love hearing from you. you know? And remember that wise farmer. You know, all the good stuff that happens. Wow, that's really good. Maybe. <laughs> In flights of fancy, primal desires awaken. You know who I'm talking to. Yes? No? Or maybe. Yeah. Say hello to yourself. You dance with the rhythm of the universe. Dance with Lake. Have some laughter. Namaste, my brothers. Look after the goddess. Look after yourself. Do be the hero. And my goddesses, you lovely, wonderful women. I know, I called you my little possessive, but get over it. You know, get, get to that place where you really are proud of the goddess self. Where you shine like the sun at midday. Where you open the outrageousness of the beauty of the goddess. Light candles do magic. In flights of fancy, primal desires awaken. Yes, no, or maybe. In la Kesha la King. I am the other you. That's what that means. I am the other you. And I like it that way. You know, if there's somebody that you loved and they're not around anymore, maybe they've left or... Maybe they cross over to the other side. Put on 
want some music and dance with them, you know? I think so. I think Buell would love to dance, Margaret. Put on some music and dance. I mean what I say, that I love you, and I really do. Namaste, in La Cache, a la can. I am the other you and I like it that way.